Mastering car buying, affordability, budgeting, and financial wisdom. Are you tired of feeling overwhelmed when it comes to buying a car? Welcome back to Ash Cash Tash. In this video, we're about to take you on a journey towards mastering the art of car buying. We'll dive deep into affordability, budgeting, and share invaluable financial wisdom to ensure you drive away with not just a new car, but also a smile on your face and your wallet intact. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Now, let's dive in. The 35 Rule Our journey into responsible car buying begins with what's known as the 35 Rule, a general guideline designed to help individuals make sensible decisions when it comes to purchasing a vehicle. According to this rule, the upper limit for what you should spend on a car should not exceed 35% of your gross annual income. To illustrate, let's say your annual earnings amount to $40,000. According to the 35 rule, the maximum price you should consider for your car purchase would be $14,000. However, as we continue, we'll explore a more comprehensive and balanced approach to car buying that takes into account various financial factors. Monthly Payment versus Purchase Price while it's common for many individuals to get caught up in the allure of monthly car payments, it's crucial to shift our perspective and concentrate on the actual purchase price of the vehicle. To help you navigate this aspect of car buying responsibly, we introduce the 2410 Rule, a comprehensive guideline that encompasses multiple facets to ensure that you make informed and financially sound decisions when it comes to purchasing a car. This rule will provide you with valuable insights into the various considerations involved in buying a car responsibly. The 20% Down Payment The initial component of the 2410 rule places a significant emphasis on the concept of making a substantial down payment when you embark on the journey of purchasing a car. This component advises that you allocate a portion equivalent to 20% of the vehicle's total cost as your down payment. By adhering to this principle, you effectively reduce the amount you need to finance for the car. This not only serves to lower your monthly payment obligations, but also expedites the process of building equity in your vehicle. In the subsequent sections, we will delve further into the remaining aspects of the 2410 rule, providing you with a comprehensive understanding of how to make prudent and well-informed car buying decisions. Optimal Loan Term – 4 Years the numerical component 4 within the framework of the 2410 rule signifies a pivotal guideline in responsible car buying. It advises that you should ideally target a maximum loan term of 4 years when securing financing for your vehicle. Adhering to this particular facet of the rule is instrumental in ensuring that your monthly payments remain at levels that are both practical and within your financial means. By limiting the loan duration to 4 years, you not only maintain a sense of financial manageability but also yield yourself from the potential burden of excessive interest payments that can accrue over extended loan periods. This prudent approach to loan term selection will be further augmented as we proceed to explore the last component of the 2410 rule, the 10% monthly payment cap. The concluding element denoted by 10 in the 2410 rule provides a crucial recommendation, your monthly expenditure related to your vehicle, which encompasses expenses like insurance and maintenance should ideally amount to less than 10% of your gross monthly income. This specific guideline holds substantial significance as it safeguards your overall financial well-being. By adhering to this facet of the rule, you ensure that your budget remains sufficiently flexible to accommodate other essential financial priorities and obligations, thereby preventing an undue strain on your finances. Speaking of actions, before we delve into our next segment, have you taken a moment to click on that subscribe button? Don't hesitate, go ahead and give it a click below to stay updated with valuable insights and information. Real World Scenarios Now, let's take a practical approach to these rules by examining real world scenarios across varying income levels. Whether your annual income stands at $40,000, $80,000, or a more substantial $150,000, 
will illustrate the maximum price of a car and the corresponding monthly payment that aligns with your financial comfort zone. This exercise will provide tangible insights into how these principles can be tailored to your specific circumstances, ensuring responsible and informed car purchasing decisions. Leasing versus Buying Leasing undoubtedly presents some attractive features particularly if you're someone who enjoys driving a brand new car every few years. The lower monthly payments associated with leasing can make high-end or luxury vehicles more accessible than they might be if you were to purchase them outright. Additionally, leasing often includes warranties that cover maintenance and repairs, offering peace of mind and potential saving. However, leasing has its drawbacks. You don't build equity in the car when you lease it, meaning you won't have an asset to sell or trade in when you decide to get a new vehicle. Over time, the cost of leasing can add up as you consistently make payments without ever owning the car. There are also mileage restrictions, typically around 12,000 to 15,000 miles per year, and exceeding these limits can result in additional fees. The power of cash versus financing The decision to pay for your car in full with cash or finance it is a significant one and depends on your financial situation, goals, and priorities. Let's delve into the pros and cons of both approaches to help you make an informed choice. Before we dive into the next segment, let's do a quick check-in. How's everyone feeling today? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the Ash Cash Dash notification bell. Paying with cash. Pros, no debt. Paying for a car in cash means you won't have any auto loan debt. This can provide peace of mind and financial freedom as you won't have monthly car payments. No interest. You won't pay any interest on a car loan, which can save you money in the long run. The total cost of the car is the purchase price. Full ownership. You own the car outright from day one. There are no restrictions on modifications, and you can sell it whenever you want. Savings on insurance. Car insurance premiums may be lower because you're not required to carry comprehensive and collision coverage by the lender. Cons. Opportunity cost. When you pay for a car in cash, you're tying up a significant amount of money that could be invested elsewhere. This money might have earned a higher return if invested wisely. Financing the car. Pros. Preserve cash flow. Financing allows you to keep more cash on hand for emergencies, investments, or other financial goals. Build credit. Making on-time payments on an auto loan can positively impact your credit score, potentially helping you secure better financing terms for future purchases. Investment opportunities. You can invest the cash you would have used to buy the car, potentially earning more than the interest rate on the auto loan. Cons. Interest costs. Financing a car involves paying interest on the loan, increasing the overall cost of the vehicle. Monthly payments. You'll have monthly car payments, which can impact your monthly budget and financial flexibility. Ownership restrictions. The lender may have restrictions on the use and modification of the car until the loan is paid off. The importance of opportunity cost. One crucial aspect to consider is the concept of opportunity cost. When you pay for a car in cash, you're giving up the opportunity to invest that money elsewhere. If your investment could potentially earn a higher return than the interest rate on an auto loan, financing might be a more financially savvy choice. Ultimately, the decision between paying in cash or financing depends on your financial goals, risk tolerance, and individual circumstances. Consider consulting with a financial advisor who can provide personalized guidance based on your specific financial situation. Three money-saving tips We conclude with three essential tips to save money on car expenses. Shopping for competitive insurance rates, considering used cars, and choosing a vehicle with manageable maintenance costs. Number 1. Shop for competitive insurance rates Car insurance is a significant ongoing expense for vehicle owners. Save money. Number 2. Consider used cars New cars depreciate rapidly in value, often losing a significant portion of their worth in the first few years. To save money, consider buying a used car. Number 3. Choose a vehicle with manageable maintenance costs. The cost of maintaining a car can add up over time. 
As we wrap up this comprehensive guide to car buying, remember that smart financial decisions ensure your vehicle enhances your life without straining your finances. By understanding affordability, adhering to prudent rules, and seeking cost-effective options, you can master the art of car buying and pave the way to a brighter financial future. If you find this guide valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and share it for more insightful content on personal finance, economics, and wealth-building strategies.